Hey everybody, hope your day's going well. We are back with Aesop Rock Water Tower, another song off the Impossible Kid album. We got a lyric video right here because you know it's Aesop. We we need some lyrics, man. And uh, we're gonna try at least unravel a little bit of his bars. Vita es morte es vita. Life is death is life. It's a cycle, man. It's a cycle. Found. Nothing but the feathers and the skull On a porch like a present with a bow Dinners in a black earth Gutted and uncoupled from the pat's work Buried by a seven-year cherub in the backyard Epitaph and all Disciple that are cycles and sciences A birth in a fertilized hyacinth Life in a vitamins Invited up the cypresses A testament to moxie and the miracle of lifelessness Yeah that was the death, you know, life is death is life. You know, the cycle he's describing this here too, in a very Aesop rock kind of way. Like, man, oh, yo, this guy takes the scenic route to certain destinations, man. He, he, he's not paying toll. He's not taking a toll road. Found nothing but the feathers in the skull on the porch, like a present. Oh yeah. Like when a cat, you know, cause he talks about cats a lot, Kirby, you know, uh, they put a bird, they eat a bird, and then leave it there on the porch. Yo, cats are predators, man. Scary, scary. They're scary. I'm going to keep repeating it. Den is in the black earth, gutted and uncoupled from the patchwork. Buried by his set. Oh, okay. Well, oh, did he mean that he, he buried? Did he bury the bones or bury his cat? Epitaph and all. You know, an epitaph like on a tombstone. Oh, so he made, he did, he did his due diligence. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what, what, what do you want to put on, on your tombstone? I would like to put on, he died doing what he loved most, being alive. Or some other joke. Like, <laughs> I don't know, put on, hey, look at the back of my tombstone. And then when they turn around and then made you look, huh? Corny? Nah, I don't know. One last corny joke. My last hurrah. From the Pat's work, buried by a seven year cherub in the backyard, never tap and all. Disciple that are cycles and sciences, a birth in a fertilized yeah, hyacinth, life in a vitamin, invited up the cypresses, a testament to moxie and the miracle of lifelessness. Mm. It's tricky when you rather rotten to the soil as a nutrient than navigate this mortal coil in human skin. Live the nuances of putrefying jelly, hit the levy when those feathers of a cancer in your bestie. And I pick oh. was here again, you know, putting the, those bones. Uh, or a body in the in the in the ground and it's fertilized for the flowers and all that stuff, you know, what he was talking about here. Uh birth into fertilized hyacinth, life into vitamins, invited up to cypresses. Again, miracle of lifelessness are rhyming, but it's beautiful way of saying, like, yeah, uh, it's basically nutrition for for life. Again, with that beginning life, death, life. And here it's tricky when you'd rather not rot into the soil. As a new, so he'd rather be dead than navigate his mortal coil in human skin. <sighs> Some of this stuff is bleak. He, he, he'd been definitely been struggling with mental health and putting it out there and opening it up. And that's great, man. I love that. Um, the nuance of put putrefying jelly hit the leaf. <sighs> and when those feathers are a cancer in your bestie, like... He's talking about his friend again, Camus, right? Rather rotten to the soil as a nutrient than navigate this mortal coil in human skin. Live the nuances of putrefying jelly. Hit the levy when those feathers of a cancer in your bestie. And I pick a ginger gold is fed by a drunken uncle. One from a customer pumping at Sumner blood work. Memed them ascending, settling any high scores. 40 meters up with the heart of a high dive horse. Be no rules on the water tower. Now painting no rules on the water tower. Basically like, you know, being that anti-authority, you know, being a rebel kind of thing, right? Hold the fuck up! Who is you talking to? Cause ain't nobody 
talking to you. You can't do a motherfucker. I told my ex in 97 I was falling on my weapon, ripped the phone about the wall. The poet dragged me from my bedroom, an embarrassing mm. ordeal involving hospitals and questions and the kind of doctors who use words like cognitive and spectrum while explaining why you're selfish to romanticize our rules and watch our moody roots pull you that little zipper by your shoes. I mean, it isn't perfect, but don't misconstrue the purpose. Any urges and discernible from community service to the kiddo. Plus, you make a beautiful widow, but that's an altruistic ticket to a room with no window. Ooh, my lord. I've never heard it described that way, but that was devastatingly beautiful. So he actually tried, he, he attempted to take his own life. Holy moly. I told my ex in 97, I was falling on my weapon, ripped the phone up out of the wall. So basically people do that. So they call them like, yeah, this is it. This, that's it. I'm, you know, falling on your weapon, like in medieval times or in Japanese, you know, doing the, uh, was it Sepura? Uh, and then, you know, or falling, sheathing the sword, but literally, you know, uh, unaliving yourself but the police dragged him from his bedroom and you know really forced him into in a hospital you know uh because you have to be in uh you know psych ward maybe or uh under watch uh so they can uh make sure you don't do anything rash because he's saying um his destination was a room with no windows like a coffin oh my damn and questions and the kind of doctors who use words like cognitive and spectrum oh. while explaining why you're selfish to romanticize our rules and watch our moody roots pull you that little zipper by your shoes i mean it isn't perfect but don't misconstrue the purpose any urges and discernible from community service to the kiddo plus you make a beautiful widow but that's an altruistic ticket to a room with no windows wow so yeah sometimes people they think that the world would be better off without them right that's don't misconstrue the purpose it's community service. And also, you know, my ex, she make a beautiful widow. <sighs> Man, that's heavy, dude. That's heavy. While explaining why you're selfish, huh? Yeah, because, you know, it, ah, such a complicated topic, right? Man, but he, the way he's describing this. Plus, you make a beautiful widow, but that's an altruistic ticket to a room with no windows. Hmm. You think you would have learned back in the 80s when they pulled him out of class over concerns about his safety, but he didn't. It wasn't because he doesn't get the message. More, he doesn't judge a man by how honorable his death is on a scale you made up anyway. Half passed out to pasture, whether clapped or batteries in backward. Oh, man. It's remarkable how... There's some similarities between my own journey and his journey. I was just taken aback by that. I haven't done any active attempts, but there was dark times there that I would rather, you know, just stay asleep. And uh, there were, uh, you know, a couple of ambulance guys in my bedroom, dude. But that was more of a substance uh, misuse. <laughs> misuse. I didn't read the instructions, guys. I didn't. Actually, it didn't. they didn't come with instructions. But. He, you know, also, you think he would have learned back in the 80s when they pulled him out of class over concerns about his safety. You know, when you're in school, and they did this to me too, like, your lifestyle, dude, it don't don't continue like this, you're going to end up dead or in jail. And he says, uh, maybe he, he had the same thing. Like, you would have learned back, in, but you didn't. Because, you know, when you're a teenager, man, you just, it, one ear in, the other out, you got to make your own mistakes, right? Uh, it's just, damn. Damn. Judge a man by how honorable his death is on a scale you made up anyway. Half passed out uh. to pasture, whether clapped or batteries in backwards. Ain't no rules on the water tower. Ain't yeah. no rules on the water tower. Ain't no rules on the water tower. Ain't no 
I had a pet lizard. He never got an obit. Fed him crickets. It was dead a fucking month before I noticed. Ooh. An older me would note that whether disposable goldfish or theist, we certainly become the earth as equals in a circle. Unique until the spirit isn't willing. While the flesh is still a staple, let a labor force in whistling it. Road killer folk and emotion is on totem don't. That's a reality you evade or grow to own. Social code broken, a hierarchy to gas back. Black labs over whack dads on the ad mat. Tabby of a parasite, bats of the parish. A civil war becoming of ungovernable atoms. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, the, hey, in his third verse, he always goes like, way up, and then I'm starting to, okay, I thought I had a handle on this. <laughs> and then it's going like, okay, he said, I'm going to one-up you. You're not going to break me down. You're not going to break down my bars. My bars will break down you. Dang. I had a pet lizard. He never got an obit. Oh, an obituary. So fed him crickets. It was dead a, a month before I know this. So really, he didn't care about the about the pet lizard because if you don't write an obituary for somebody, that means you didn't really care to begin with, right? And all of me would know that with a disposable goldfish, would certainly become the earth as equals in a circle. So all yeah, as you get older, you get more respect for for life, you know. That whether disposable goldfish or theist, we certainly become the earth as equals in a circle. Unique until the spirit isn't willing. While the flesh is still a staple, let a labor force in whistling it. Road killer folk and emotion is on totem don't. That's a reality you evade or grow to own. So the flesh is still a staple of the labor force and whistle. So the, the the human body is working, unique, and, but, but the spirit isn't willing. The, but is it like going on autopilot? Like, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm doing everything. I'm still doing this and that. I'm living, but the spirit isn't really willing. And roadkill evoking emotion, his own totem don't. Like roadkill evokes more emotion than himself or something. Even roadkill is more valuable or something than, than myself, than himself. Is that how he perceives it? I'm not sure about that one. Until the spirit isn't willing, while the flesh is still a staple, uh, let a labor force in whistling it. Road killer folk and emotion is on totem don't. That's a reality you evade or grow to own. Social code broken, a hierarchy to gas back. Black labs over whack dads on the ad mat. Tabby of a parasite, bats of the parish. A civil war becoming of ungovernable atoms. I'm born from the guts of stars and black tar pits. Uh -huh. made in denim, paint the devil under Gorlix. Crawls that are clawed, cough in a huff and puff. Somewhere in between the dust and dust. Yo, the dust, yeah, dust to dust, ashes to ashes. Uh, again, that theme. And of course, I'm born from the guts of stars and black tarpids. You know, we're all born from stars. And before that, he was talking about um, the civil war of ungovernable atoms. You know, we're all made up of atoms uh, in different, you know, this mic is made of atoms. It's just different... Um, Makeup, right? Just a different um, composition of it. I don't know. I can't find the word I was looking for. <laughs> Black Labs over Wag Dads on the Admin. No clue what that is. I don't know what that means. No clue. <laughs> but yeah, you know, so he's basically like, um, may maybe saying like, uh, there's a tug of war between me uh, and the Adams, uh, a little uh, internal war. Still talking about his mental state. Adams, I'm born from the guts of stars and black tar pits. Siren made in denim, paint the devil under Gorlix. Crawls that are clawed, caught in a huff and puff. Somewhere in between the dust and dust. Oh, uh, maybe also saying like, yeah, I came back from all this stuff. You know, I, I clawed out my grave, basically. This is a second life. I'm, it's a rebirth. Pay no rules on the water tower. Pay no rules on the water tower. Yeah, I like this track a lot. Uh, there's some things in there that I could definitely resonate with. And just the way he put it, man, such a beautiful way, you know. Uh, like I said, he's taking a scenic route to uh, to his destination, man. 
Beautiful. He's snapping pics and showing us like, yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> no straightforward with Aesop Rock, but man, when you get it, when it hits, man, then it, then it hits. Awesome, awesome track. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Have a great day. Peace.